we're going to be testing out Bagel, which is a new Chinese AI that's fully free, fully open source. It was released by Dance, which actually owns TikTok. As you can see right here, they say Bagel, the open source unified multi-modal model. So it can also generate images, for example. Here's a demo of it. So let's play this and see what we get. And you can see examples of what it can do. So it can actually read images. It can tell you what images are. It can generate images as well. And then I believe it can also generate GIFs as well. So we'll be testing out side by side versus chat GPT 4.0. And it's a very similar model in terms of parameters, for example. I've actually got a cheat sheet inside the AI success lab, which is completely free, runs you through exactly what it is, what you get, etc., how you can use it. And it's also got all the links to what we're talking about today. But essentially, if we look at Bagel, you can use this for image generation, as you can see right here. So you can say, tell me about this picture. And then it will tell you exactly what it is. Then you can ask about the artist, etc. You can use this for image generation. And also you can use this for editing images. So for example, here's a picture that's been plugged into Bagel. And then the user has said he squatted down and touched the dog's head. And then actually edited the image and has a picture of him squatting down and painting the dog's head. Same for this. So for example, we could take a picture of the Mona Lisa change to 3D animated style. And then you've got like a modern image of the Mona Lisa in 3D, kind of like a cartoon. Here's another one. This is quite interesting. So you can actually use navigation, right? So it says after 40 seconds, move forward. And then you've actually got a GIF that was created based on the image plugged in right here. So it can do a lot of different things. Here's another example. And if you want to get started, Basically, you can go and preview it at demo.bagel-ai.org. It is open source as well, so you can run it locally. You can see an example of the GitHub page right here. Examples of what you can do, etc. You can add emotions to images, all sorts of stuff. Pretty cool. Let's have a go now. So let's take a picture of me, and then we'll see if we can actually change the image and that sort of thing. So just going to download an image of me. And then we're going to upload this into Bagel. You can start a new conversation. You can actually change the language here as well. So you can change what language you have and also the image output. And you can switch on think mode if you want to as well. And then you can switch between different parameters for the image as well. I'm just going to leave those as default. And then we're going to open up a example image. And we'll say, okay, change this image. So it's a helicopter, not a plane in the background. See if we can change that now. So it does take a while to process. What we can do in the meantime is we can actually open up ChatGPT and test exactly the same prompt inside ChatGPT 4.0. So we've got 4.0 loaded over here, which is kind of like the comparative model to Bagel. We'll plug in the image and then we're going to use exactly the same process right here. And there we go. So we actually have the image in the background. It doesn't look great, to be honest with you. Let's open this up. It's, it's okay. It's not bad. Let's compare the original image here. We'll compare these side by side. So this is the original image with the plane in the background, many stairs, etc. A little bit blurrier when you upload it. And then if we have a look here, it's, it's very low res, but it has done the job. It has replaced the image with a helicopter, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Now, if we have a look at ChatGPT, let's see what ChatGPT did side by side. So this is the image afterwards. The resolution is much better on ChatGPT, but if you actually have a look at this, like the face is so weird. The way it's changed the face it looks very much like AI generated when I compare them side by side. Let's have a look here. So this is ChatGPT and this is Bagel. Honestly, I'm going to say ChatGPT wins just for quality. Let's open, let's download this and see if it comes out better quality when you download it. Here we go. Yeah, it's still pretty weird, isn't it? And then if you look here, super fuzzy on the body, but at least it didn't manipulate the head. However, ChatGPT wins by a long way right there. Let's test another thing out now. So I'm going to say, okay, new conversation, upload the image, and we'll say, describe this image. Definitely takes a long time to get back to us. Inside ChatGPT as well, I like the fact that you can just copy and paste an image directly in there. So let's say you describe this. If you actually go to a new conversation inside Bagel, 
you can't copy and paste the image from what I can see. So it's not chat GPT in that way, but still it's free and it's open source. So I suppose that's what you get. Let's have a look at some other examples whilst waiting for this. I think it's drunk. So we've said, describe this image with the image of me stepping out the plane, blah, blah, blah. And then it's come back to us with this, which is an image. Maybe we have to change the language output. Let's try that again. So if we have a look at ChatGPT's output here, it said the image shows a well-dressed man confidently stepping out of a sleek black helicopter. Here's the details. Here's what it did, etc. And it was super fast in the response as well. Although to be fair, if you're using language output on Bagel as well, it does seem to come back to us with a much better image. So for example here, the image depicts a man walking down a set of stairs from a small private jet. The man is dressed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. So it did a pretty good job there. I would say on par with ChatGPT. It's just ChatGPT. Now we're going to go back to image output. And I'm going to say, change this to an image of the man dressed as an astronaut stepping out a UFO spaceship. And we'll switch to image output. We can put thinking mode on as well. But yeah, I've got to agree. I think the lighting here is not that great on the images that we're getting back from by dance. But we'll test this out. Here's the image of the astronaut. It actually looks a lot better, to be fair. Look at that. Let's open this up. But the only problem here is that we don't actually get the spaceship in the background like we asked it for. So we originally said, change this to an image of the man dressed as an astronaut stepping out of a UFO spaceship. And it kept the plane the same in the background. But at least the image quality is better. And that's pretty cool to be fair. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got here. So we have a car made of small cars. That is a pretty cool image to be fair. The other cool thing about this is obviously it is open source, but also there doesn't seem to be a limit, right? So you can create as many images as you want here. That is a usable image. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't say this is good quality. It's chat GPT 4.0, but it's still decent. If you go back to the same prompt side by side, so chat GPT versus bagel, you can see the image that comes back from chat GPT by default is not as realistic, right? So this is a lot more photorealistic. It does have the spaceship with the astronaut, which is what we asked, but this one looks a lot more photorealistic, to be honest. Let's now try something else. So we're going to say, okay, change this. Let's go back to this chat here. And we'll say, okay, change this to a 3D animated image. And we'll try the same inside ChatGPT. So you can see for speed, ChatGPT is just winning every time. But it's not very good at like creating those animated images. So for example, we said change this to like a 3D animated image. It came back to us with this, which doesn't look great. Just looks the same, to be honest with you. Let's see what Bagel comes back to us with. And if you're wondering, like, do you need an API key or anything to use this? You don't. You can just go to the demo.bagel-ai.org. And then from there, you can actually get access. You, you don't even need to log in, it seems. It's pretty simple and easy to use. So no API required. So let's have a look at these side by side. <laughs> it looks super weird. Let's open this up. So if we compare them... Again, it's that image quality that's just not quite there. That's the only issue here is I can see the potential, but it looks super weird. Which one are you going to choose? Even if this isn't exactly what you want, you're going to go with chat GPT, right? For sure. As well, what I would say here is this is decent, but if you tested it out versus something like Flux, you're going to get much better responses from Flux, which can also generate images. If you're not aware what Flux is, let me show you an example. So you can go into Flux here. You can paste in the prompt. You can upload the same image style that you had before, like this, for example. And then we can compare all three outputs, right? So if we have ChatGPT over here, we've got Flux in the middle, and then we have Bagel on the left-hand side. Now, if you were comparing them side by side here, let's have a look what Flux has done. Flux hasn't done anything to that image. All right, let's try the same prompt here. So we're going to go with... Change this image to its helicopter inside Flux. There does I don't think there is an API available for Bagel. I think it's just available locally, so you can host it locally with GitHub, or you can also use it directly inside the chat. So here we have the images back from Flux. Let's compare these versus the helicopter one. So which one wins? 
I'm going to say ChatGPT's image probably comes in second there. It's not quite as realistic as Flux's, right? If you look at Flux, they've added like the helicopter style to the plane over there. And then if we look at Bagel, it still comes in last just because the image is like, it's quite pixelated, low quality, low res, etc., And it takes a lot longer, right? So let's take this to another level now. We're going to say, okay, change this image. So it's like a 3D cartoon style. We'll do the same inside ChatGPT, compare them side by side. So this is the cartoon style from Flux, which I would still, <laughs> it's easy to be a bagel at this point, to be honest. If you compare them side by side, this is still not perfect, but it looks better than bagel. Let's have a look what ChatGPT comes back to us with. So if we compare these side by side, ChatGPT is easily won that. Right, like the image there from ChatGPT is way better. Let's pull this up. That's like proper cartoon style. Fluxes is, is a bit of a joke, to be honest. Let's open this up. That is the image from, sorry, from Bagel. It's not even comparable to ChatGPT. Look at those side by side. And then finally, we have Flux, which is okay. I wouldn't say it's the style that we're looking for exactly but it can do its magic. So overall, I'm actually going to say that Bagel probably performing the worst out of all three of these. ChatGPT still comes in first. Flux is coming in second. Flux you can use for free though, which is good. ChatGPT obviously has limits, even if you're on the pro plan and you're paying per month. And then Bagel has no limits, but it's a lot slower. However, it is open source and it is free. So if you want to get all the video notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. This comes with all the resources from today, along with a bunch of courses. And you can get that link in the comments description, along with 100 different prompts for using Bagel AI. Is it the GPT-40 killer? I wouldn't say so at this point. I think it still needs a lot of work. However, the fact that it's open source and it can generate images for free, you can't really complain. And if you want to join this community, it comes with 9,000 members, as you can see inside here. Additionally, if you want to get coaching support, feel free to get that inside the AR Profit Boardroom. Inside here, we make a personalized video for you each week. We're actually running three coaching calls per week as well on AI automation. You can connect with me personally. Plus, inside here, we host all our best courses, workflows, AI agents, and every call gets recorded if you want to watch them back. So I recommend checking it out. Link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. And additionally, if you want us to implement all of the AI automation workflows that I show you, then we can just do that for you. Feel free to book in a call via this link right here, and we can book in a call, run through anything you want to automate, and then go from there. Cheers for watching.